The University of Arizona has a long history with solar power, and two experts are looking to continue that legacy. 13 News reporter John Macaluso spoke to them about their twisting heliostat and how they're hoping it'll change the world. A heliostat is a device with a giant mirror that reflects the sun's rays. What keeps me going is the thought that we could actually do something with solar energy to restore the planet to the way it used to be. Roger Angel has been working in telescopes and large optics at the University of Arizona for decades. Now he's using his expertise on a twisting heliostat, which could revolutionize how a heliostat redirects the sun. But before that, let's talk about the differences between a solar panel and a heliostat. Now both capture energy from the sun, they just do it in different ways. In solar panels, you don't have to focus the light at all. You just put out the panel, the sunlight lands on it, it makes electricity. Another thing you can do with sunlight with mirrors is to focus the light to get very high temperature. That sunlight is usually directed towards a receiver which uses that heat to make electricity. So what makes the twisted heliostat so unique is that it actually twists and moves with the sun to get maximum heat output. If you change the shape of the mirror during the day, then you can make a big mirror, you adjust its shape as the sun moves across the sky, and so you can always get it to focus to a very hot spot. Right now there's only one twisting heliostat in existence and it's currently near Albuquerque, New Mexico. But Daewook Kim, who is also working on the heliostat, did his best to demonstrate how it works. These yellow struts are bending the twisting heliostat throughout the day always maintaining the fantastic focus of the sun image. If you look at right there, that's 113 meters away from the twisting heliostat, real image of the sun disk. They believe this heliostat will help lower the use of other thermal energy, such as burning fossil fuels. And right now they tell me they've successfully proved it works and hope we'll be seeing them around town soon. Next two years, you may see around Tucson, Arizona, not one, not two, many of these. Reporting at the University of Arizona, John Macaluso, 13 News.